Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So we have Yujiro Hanma. I think it's Yujiro. It's not Yujiri, is it? No, I think it's Yujiro. Okay, uh, Baki's dad. <clears throat> so, the human tank. Um, I'm on a landscape orientation page. Use a pencil and an eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. So the center point of his page, of his page, yes, it's Yujiro's page. We own nothing. We only have things because Yujiro lets us have them. Um, center point of my page is about here. Um, so we just go, we'll start with his eyes. So we just go up over to the right hand side a little bit, right? And we're gonna start with his massive eyebrows, right? Because they're, they're over his eyes. So we gotta draw them first, really. So curve around. So, and then it sort of hooks down, right? So it sort of hooks down like so. And then we go back into there. And then it curves down. Around to there. Right? It will be the same thing pretty much on the other side, so. Curve it up, down, and then we hook back around to there, back down into here. Okay. All right, so then in under here we have his eyes, right? So we're just gonna go, they're pretty flat, right? So they go cross flat, right? And just at the end, we st stick out for sort of that spiking sort of eyelash that he has just there. And then we'll bring it down underneath, around, and into there. And then his iris and his pupils, so we just have like a half circle underneath there. And then his pupil, similar, like that. Right, and then his other eye, same thing, flat out, and then up. And then we'll bring it down. there and you can just maybe thicken this up a little bit and iris and pupil so half circle pupil there so I think sometimes he can have like eyelashes sticking off here Sort of depends, but. Right, so then, brow line, just in the middle, comes up pretty long. And then some more sort of frown lines here. So he's got lots of lines on his face now. We've got like eyelid line just on top. Some eyelid line on the bottom. And then his nose, right? So his nose is quite wide, quite broad. So we've got like two lines coming down like so. In the middle. And then his, the tip of his nose comes around just at the bottom of those two. And his nostrils will come out from the side. The nostrils will come out from the side of that one. 
we can act, it's actually drawn in the bridge of his nose so it's unusual for an anime but it's actually drawn in and then we got like some lines coming down his cheeks like so and then maybe some more nose lines sort of just there Right, so then his mouth, so he's got like a real curly, exaggerated, sort of evil smile, right? So top lip first, up, down, back up. It always reminds me of a stretched out letter M, right? So it's just really exaggerated on Yujiro, right? There. And then his, his curly sort of smile, right? Like curls up the side and then goes in in here, down the middle, back up, down to there. All right, and then his bottom lip, real big as well. Everything's just like exaggerated, really big on him. Then he's got a real square chin. Down like so, right? But we're still in proportion, so eyes to the bottom of his nose, about the same as bottom of his nose to his chin. And then bottom of the nose to the bottom lip line, about the same as bottom lip line to chin. So he's still in standard human proportion, even though everything's just kind of real crazy looking. And then chin line, just there. And then his jaw. So not only he, <laughs> he has three jaws <laughs> on each side. Of course he does because he can't like his muscles on his jaw basically right so you go up like this such a ridiculous character it's great <laughs> it's brilliant so steps up like this and then one up there right and then it's kind of like steps of the stairs or something that right Right, and then he has like smile lines inside and stuff. So top lip line there, and then like this Joker like sort of smile lines coming down like so. And on this side as well. Yeah. Like this. Right, so then his cheekbones, so kind of come down in here. Like that, and then another one. Starts near his eyebrow and then goes in. There. And this comes back. And another line there. This comes back. And then we have his ear under his hair, right? But sort of starts maybe eyebrow level. We've got some of his hair cuts off the top of it, right? But the bottom of the ear is there. And this is like hair. So, you know, the hair goes this way. Same on this side. So we've got like hair lines going up off that way. And then this curves down. Ear lobe just in there. Pretty small ears compared to the rest of his head. And ear ligament lines and stuff on the inside. Like that. So then his hairline. So we'll go just sort of rough, sort of zigzag lines. And then we go across his head. So the to the to like a spike at the middle of his head right here. And then just across like so. So his fo his forehead to his eyes is about the same as his eyes to his nose. Okay. Just if you're wondering how high up you ought to go. So he's got like this Medusa sort of hair thing going on in this picture, right? But we'll draw, it comes out from behind his neck, right? So we'll just get his big neck in first. So this like curves down here from his ear, basically. Like 
right? So crazy big neck, right? And then we got like lots of these sort of hair spikes coming out now. So like, there's no easy way to do it. You just gotta do it. So. So it just reminds me, it reminds me of Medusa for some reason, that sort of um, Greek, is it Greek? Legend, woman turns people to stone, snakes in her hair. Kind of reminds me of that. Keep sort of going. Oh, I might be able to fit in all of his hair. So yeah, and then you you know just add more wavy lines up the middle. add some more over this side and kind of just join it up. If you have more room at the top of your page, feel free to add some more hair, just I ran out of room. So I know I'm not talking much, but there is no real sort of, you just keep adding lines all the way up around his head, basically. So. So, right, so that's basically it. And
Yeah, right. So then we go down and do the rest of his neck, right? So his neck muscles come down from his jaw. So and down like so. Like that, and then he's more muscles in here. And then so like his chest then, right? So his chest muscle lines go down across and then big hulking sort of chest muscle here then another one goes across here right, and then this has sort of muscle lines coming across that way and then neck muscle line there neck muscle line somewhere here as well mm -hmm. so i think this part of his neck's a bit too long so i'll just erase that And then his trapezius, so comes out. Now he's a crazy muscly, muscly dude, right? So these muscles are way bigger. He's like Mr. Olympia, like times 20. So. Right, and then his shoulder will come out from his trapezius. Say like, shoulder's like under his chin, so like here. It's like crazy big. I might have an extra line just here. All right, and same over here. Real big. Down like so. And then he's got like a black t shirt. So it's going to come there. V sort of goes this way, and then it comes out from behind here, and then goes in a V sort of that way. Right, and then so his chest muscle then comes down around here, and he's got like a white sleeved t-shirt right so it kind of like bumps out a little bit and goes across his shirt there and you can see his arms so I can't fit in his arms because he's too big <laughs> basically he's too powerful for the page but um oh wait that shirt line's wrong it should go down like that um, we'll add um, an extra sort of chest muscle line just here. Like so. And maybe like something coming up from his shoulder. Just there. Maybe like shoulder muscle in here. Right, and then this sleeve, so it like bumps down. And we'll go. Yeah, it should go down this way. Down into his chest. And his arm comes off down here. That makes more sense. Okay, that's pretty much it. That is how to draw Yujiro Hanma from Baki. Hope it's helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.